Music is really very important when you're creating because sometimes it can drive you to like do spontaneous things. So in my playlist, I have like some jazz, I have like um, pop, sting, um, I have like rock and roll. Um, I have all kinds of music, various genres. And sometimes in the beginning, I like to start out with like, you know, some jazz and easy listening and you lay it down. But then when you get to the point where you know what you want and you have on something that's like driving that, you know, you can use the music, you can use that emotion to like, well, that's how I do it. You know, everybody's got their own process of what drives them or what motivates them and inspires them to create whatever it is, flowers, people, um, for me, it's cityscapes and connecting to New York City, it's vibrant energy, the sights, the sounds, like horns and people and all kinds of things. That's what I try to put into um, this work, that it just kind of looks like it's moving, right? So it's um, when I take into the marker and I listen to the music, I try to get all of that too. So let's see, we're going to wrap this up and um, see what, what happens, okay? Now I'm actually going into it with the marker. And even though I have a few spots that are wet, they're not keeping me from using a great part of the marker. So sometimes I just like wipe that off, wipe that excess paint off, shake the marker up. And you also, when you're shaking it up, you wanna make sure when you press this up that the rest of your uh, brush up here is getting soaked. So then that will give you a much thicker and bolder line. So I just want to go in and sharpen some of these edges. And where I can get close to the paint, then I'll do that. And then sometimes I like to We know there's action going on here. So when I'm doing these, it's, um, again, I'm talking about how energetic the city is, how eclectic it is. It's like a lot of moving parts, right? People, cars, um, just everything. And so a lot of the times I'll go in and add some of these things that indicate that movement, okay? I like to get these as clean as possible sometimes. And then we talked about, so I'm gonna go in with the smaller brush on that one. And I talked about someone's balcony, right? So I can go in and add a few more windows and places And then I'm thinking to myself, how am I connecting these people to these people, right? 
So right now, I'm just gonna build a series of windows that just speak to that connection, okay? And any time I get a little paint on the brush, I'm gonna wipe it off. The bigger the windows are, you know that's fancy, like a penthouse. They got a lot of space there, so yeah. These are like, yeah, Bruce Wayne type money. How about that? And they got space. They're not all crammed up like maybe these people down here. All right, there's a lot of people down there. Okay, I'll go over and get some here. Stand back, take a look. I'm gonna come back in. And sometimes I like to give myself, I'm gonna do 20 more windows, right? Because I know that I want a lot more in order to make that connection. So then I can just use, again, when you're using the, mu the music to work fast, I'm gonna start in the center and just build my way out. Two, three, four, five. So I put 10 on that side, and then I'm gonna go and do 10 on this side. I'm adding more because I saw that that space did not have any. So you wanna make sure every space has a little bit of windows. Sometimes I even use, um, I'll show you what I brought with me. Sometimes I use things like mirrors. This is a mirror, a little piece of tile, actually. Um, sometimes I actually glue tile onto the painting. Uh, sometimes I glue mirrored pieces a lot of the times. That way you can actually see yourself as part of the cityscape. And sometimes I just use this as a template I'll show you. Gotta make sure the spot is dry. <laughs> so this is giving me a great little shape there and I can use it. Okay, I'm satisfied. So, and another great thing about acrylic paint, and it dries really fast, the true test is to go back the next day. So if you like it the next day, then you know, hey, I'm committed to this. And then you add maybe, like I said, the embellishments for me would be the mirrors or um, the tile pieces or anything to give it kind of re a reflective surface when you have it hanging on your wall and the light hit it hits at it it just twinkles kind of like when you're driving across the bridge right so don't be afraid to try some abstract painting find the thing that you love to do and just work on it pieces of paper um, canvas i work on various materials i'm always making cityscapes um, cardboard, you can even take your Vans box and create a cityscape, okay? Just don't forget to add your windows.
Don't be afraid to experiment. The great thing about acrylic paint, even if it was oil paint, is you can always do it again. Go out and paint.